Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to have you guys join me today for another video. So today we are going to do some cute DIY projects and we are going to start with this super cute birdhouse. This birdhouse was purchased at Dollar General in case you're curious. But if you love these type of videos, don't forget to show me some love by giving me that thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. All right, you guys, let's get started with our first DIY project. Okay, so for those of you that are curious, um, that is leftover wallpaper because your girl uses up all of the materials that she has, um, but that's pretty much what it is. But of course you guys know that you can use anything that you have as background, but I love the wood look, so of course you know I had to use that. And of course I use my Cricut for the um, Our Nest. Now I do not intend on leaving it like this. I actually love the font, but I only was using that as the, um, how should I put it, like a stencil, if you will. And then that little circle, because you guys know how great I am at drying circles, um, is just a lid of a ring holder that I had. So just any type of circle thing that you might have to create a perfect circle is what I would recommend. And the rest is pretty much self-explanatory. Oh, this part, I'm actually drawing um, a line over the hour nest with a permanent black marker that's thin because it's the only one I have prior to going in with a paint pen because if you don't do that the paint pen can seep underneath and go through so this is kind of a little bit of a barrier if you will and I know this because I've tried this with another project in the past so that kind of becomes a bit of a protective uh, for your surface um, in case you were curious why I did that.
So the reason you don't want to go right in to remove your stencil or in my case the vinyl is because you want to allow that paint pen to have a little bit of time to dry and that way when you peel it up it's going to give you those clean perfect lines and it gives me the look that I'm going for. So I'm really happy with the way that this is looking so far. And just like that, our beautiful little treehouse is done. I love the simplicity. I love the look of it. I love everything about it. And of course, you can add as much greenery or as little as you want. You can do any font that you want. I mean, you guys, you can do anything. It's up to you. But I absolutely love the way that it turned out, and I hope you do too. Okay, guys, so for our second DIY project, this is a project that I've been wanting to do for years. And now that I have my new Cricut, of course, you knew I was going to have to create it for myself. Um, you know, this isn't anything revolutionary by any means, but I wanted to do it with a twist. So if you haven't already guessed, we are making a Ray Dunn inspired Easter egg set with a twist so most of the time when you see these they are super cute but they are usually white eggs with black font and we are going to reverse that with matte black eggs and white font and we're also going to make them a little punny well kind of anyway and with um by the way, this reminds me, I am working on a spring home tour for you guys. I'm really excited to display my home and share it with you guys. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, I have always wanted these. And now that I have my Cricut, I can go ahead and create my own, which is what we're doing today. So I really hope that you love this project as much as I do.
And that is how super easy and super cute our little farm fresh eggs, Ray Dunn inspired, turned out. I really love the way that this looks. It's so cute. We have Honey Bunny, Love My Peeps, Happy Easter, Hippity Hop, Happy Spring, and Peeps Sake. So yeah, hope you guys love it. All right, so we have made it to our very last DIY project and it is a mason jar. So on this one, we are just gonna take off the flowers, but we are not going to be working on this side. So use whatever tools and whatever means you can to remove this, hint, hint, it is not that easy. So you are gonna use some arm muscles, my peeps, because uh, yeah, this sucker sucks. Dollar Tree. We don't ever want to keep things the way we buy them. Make it easier for us, shall ya? <laughs> Will ya? Gosh, you guys, sometimes I have the hardest times with these voiceovers because I'm tired and it's very, very, very late in the day when I do these. That's why it's usually really quiet in the background. Anyway, <laughs> we are going to paint all sides, but we are going to be using the very smooth side for our project.
and I just love the way this project turned out. I don't know if you guys caught the humor in this because the bunny is actually pointing down, kind of being a little bit of a smart aleck, you know. Anyway, you guys, I absolutely love sharing these projects with you guys. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me. I want to encourage you to please share my content with anyone that you think might like it. And as always, I wish you a very happy and blessed, beautiful day. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.